In the post-battle analysis, Joachim Muncherberg talks tactics with fellow flyers, while ground crew add further victory bars to the rudder of an Aces 190. Also seen is the irrepressible Pips Priller, who is to become Commodore of JG-26 and remain its commander through to war's end. Priller was an inspiring leader and a superb pilot, amassing a tally of 101 victories, all achieved in the West. He is perhaps best remembered as one of two Luftwaffe pilots to strafe the Normandy beaches on D-Day and live to tell the tale, an event recaptured in the film The Longest Day. The alarm sounds once again as a further raid, this time by RAF light bombers, is reported inbound. Pilots rush to their planes and there is a further scramble as 109s and 190s roar off to attack the enemy aircraft. The Luftwaffe fighters home in on the defending fighters as the gun cameras catch more shots of RAF fighters being shot at and brought down. The armament of the 109F was less than that employed on the earlier Emil and was confined to two MG-17s mounted on the nose cowl and a 20mm MG-151 cannon firing through the propeller boss. As all weapons were mounted along the aircraft's centre line, it made the 109 highly effective in air-to-air -air combat. Gallen thought this a backward step and had a number of his own 109Fs customised to carry a heavier armament. An extra 20mm cannon was fitted in each wing and he had the cowl machine guns replaced with the more powerful 13mm MG131. In what appears to be a rogue edit that has crept into this report, gun camera film from an ME-109 shows it shooting down an RAF Lysander Army Cooperation aircraft over the channel. It seems likely that it was caught flying near the coast of England by the 109 on a day sweep over the channel. However, it's quite possible that it was serving with flight number 419, whose task was to fly agents into France. British losses in 1941 on circus ops amounted to 849 fighters. These are matched against Jagdflieger claims for 950. In 1942, these ops cost the RAF a further 900 losses, whilst in 1941 the Luftwaffe fighter losses amounted to 183 machines, and in 1942, 272. RAF losses over those two years were four times as many as were lost by the Luftwaffe.